Right now at 6, a Racine native fights against ISIS terrorists in Syria. ISIS terrorists say they have beheaded another person, this time a British aid worker. We've also learned a Racine graduate is fighting with Kurdish forces against ISIS. Yona Gavino is live in Racine with a story that is new at 6. Yona. Carol, today we spent the entire time looking for answers and trying to find out more about Jordan Matson, including why that man would travel thousands of miles away to Syria to fight ISIS alongside the Kurdish forces. We do know that Matson spent some time here, spent a few months here at Case High School in Racine, but other than that, we don't know too much else, mostly because his family doesn't want to say much else because they're so worried about his safety. These Facebook photos of Jordan Matson are starting to pop up everywhere on cable news networks and websites all over the world. Why? Because he's one of only three Americans who have chosen to leave their homes and go fight the Islamic State terror group in Syria. A member of the Kurdish forces talked to CNN about Matson yesterday. And today I talked to his brother who told me his family had mixed emotions when he told them he was going to Syria. These Facebook photos show him wearing a traditional Middle Eastern headscarf and holding a gun. Matson's brother didn't want to go on camera, but told me Jordan grew up in Sturtevant and served in the army. He described his brother as very patriotic and a good Christian. Matson's brother told me that Jordan recently posted something on Facebook saying that he'd been hit by a mortar after an intense six hour firefight, but he was okay. Live in Racine, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. Yeah, you can understand the family is concerned. Thank you very much, Yona.